It's Friday, July 14th. What better way to spend your Friday than going to watch some football? So let's do it. So we are heading to Tiverton to watch Tiverton Town FC take on Yeovil Town FC in a pre-season friendly. It is July 14th. It's currently 6pm. I will make a move very swiftly after filming this because kickoff is at 7.30 and we've got about a 50 minute drive. One of the craziest things about this fixture is around 10 years ago, these two teams were separated by about six divisions and now they are only one division apart. Tiverton Town FC currently play in the uh, Southern Premier League South Division, whereas you've got Yeovil Town, obviously relegated recently from the National League, now play in the National League South. Quick look at the stadium, stadium I've never done before, that makes it all the more exciting to me personally. Tiverton Town play at the Ian Moorcroft Stadium and have a stadium capacity of 3,500. Really looking forward to this, haven't looked too much into the preview. This was a bit of a last minute decision to go and make a move. So the brother's picking me up, so let's get out, get there and uh, watch some football. Let's take you along with me. And he's back. You won't believe it. I love he's the back. NHS. I <laughs> love the NHS. This man is back on the channel. The vlogs are just better with him in it. Come on, let, just give us your post-match. Uh, your pre-match, mate. Just give us your pre-match. I'll give you a post-match if you want a post-match. No, pre-match, please, mate. Uh, my post-match and pre-match okay. is a 2-1 win to Tiverton. Great performance by the Tiverton boys. You didn't need Gareth Crooks. You <laughs> Gareth Crooks, yeah? Got <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Donna Schick. laughs> yeah. No, no, honestly, this was a bit of a last minute. Didn't no, know if we were going to do it. No, no it was a bit of a last no, minute. No, was it? Mike was like, oh, my head, my head. I've been for lots of exams today on my eyes. Oh. So there you go. Anyway, Tibbet and Yeovil. <laughs> I don't know. We're off. We're about 32 minutes away. Looking forward to it. We're actually going to be early for a game for once, which is always a bonus. We're actually going to be early. So when we get to the ground, give you a good tour of the ground. He's gagging for a burger, this one. Yeah, I've not eaten tonight. So I'm not <laughs> eaten lies, tonight. lies, he has, yeah, he's eaten. So I'm going to get a burger. I'll have, I'll have my one pint in the ground. I uh, can't yeah. wait. We'll see you there. We'll see you there for some Friday night football. Right, so just quickly, here's a quick look. That's Tivy there, and if you love a if you love a stadium, two for the price of one today, is the uh, Tivert and Rugby. Uh, just one stand there, a few bit of advertisements. But there you go. There's just a little look at the Rugby Stadium, and there's a little look at James. <laughs> just quickly, no cars going past. Just quickly, want some score predictions, mate. Car coming past, mate. <laughs> oh damn it, we're doing it anyway. Come on. Quick um, score predictions. I'm going. I'm going one-one. In all seriousness, I uh, think it's close. You know, for anyone who doesn't know, Yeovil just lost two-one to Wimborne, so we were two leagues below. So I'm going to go five-one to. Oh my word! No, I just said two-one in the other clips. So oh my word! I'll go two-one again. Two-one. See you in a minute. No car parking spaces left. A bit busy day here, lads. We've seen that too many times these preseason games. Goalies just try to take the striker on, oh, and the striker's just walked into an open net. <laughs> and 2 0, about 20 minutes gone. Shocking from Tim and Keeper. Yeah, we've seen the keepers just too too keen to impress lately. Way too keen to impress. Showing off. Mm. No, but yeah, that is that is exactly it. Back to the football. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Trophy cabinet, James, and football. 3 0, mate. I like football. It was 3 0. Yeah. When? <laughs> Since the three goals have gone in. 3 0. It's, oh, yeah. it's literally about to be half time. It's 3 0. It's 3 0. Right, it's food review time. Just James today. I'm just going to try and break. I, what I will say is very happy about the burger to base ratio. Yeah, Mike, don't get my bulge in it. <laughs> camera up here. Sorry, mate. mate. Look, wait. Just Look. try it, would you? Right, here we That's go. That's what you want to know. Here we go. Burger base ratio, really good. Don't worry about the barbecue sauce. I love the barbecue sauce. Right, here we go then. Fight here then. How's that rating, mate? How's it rating? Oh, fucking good. Yeah, I spiked that, haven't Hot burger. Mm. And three pound fifty. Mm. Value for money, very good. Great stuff. Burger. Give it about a seven and a half. Take that. See you for a second half. I'm just enjoying it. Oh my god, build up. Hey. How naughty was the roulette though? walking across look at him sluggish walk back in the gray track so after a 4-0 thump in first half 4-2 there you, you go. To, you have to be proud with that. 4-2. 4-0 down. And they got two back. you got to think in the dressing room they would have been saying let's just win the second half. And all, right, all right, gangly eyes. <laughs> what is that? This vlog's not going to be out for a while. It really isn't. It really isn't. <laughs> and Tim. Right, apologies for the poor lighting, but the game is done. Finish 4 2 Yeovil Town. A good little day. What do you think, first of all? Give you your yeah. thoughts first. Yeah, good. Um, I think all in all, it's probably a fair reflection, the result. Don't think uh, Tibbet necessarily deserved to be 4 um, 0 down in the first half. A couple of goalie mistakes in general. Um, so 2 0 in the second half, they'd take that. It was no. I thought the stadium was actually pretty decent for Southern Prem. Yeah. I thought the stadium standard was actually decent. Yep. James got a burger for three pound fifty, which is very really good. good. Very they good. had a couple of. They actually had a sports bar. We didn't even know which was open, which was humongous. So getting a drink was a piece of cake. All in all, if you're going there on a Saturday for a game day, it's a good place to go. It's a yeah. very very good place to go. Mm -hmm. Well worth the trip. That's game four done of the season for me now, game three. The Dartford games are getting ever so close now. They are gonna be they are gonna be some top game days. But they're gonna be some top game days. But if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And until the next one, we'll see you all around. Oh, I love you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Oh, 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 oh,